Right, hello and welcome to the Geek Lovin'. You can see me behind the camera today. Oh, nice. Right, we've got a little problem because if I just boot up my 2009 uh, iMac here, which I got for the princely sum of £30. Yeah, just because it got a scratch on the screen. You can see the videos on that when we first got it and did all the upgrades to it. But, uh, what we're trying to do is get the latest operating systems on it. But we've got a little issue. The firmware password is set. Now, on our modern iMac, you can go into the recovery options and disable this. But, on this one, you're stuck. It's not so simple. But, as I'm making this video, you must realise there is a way. And there is a way! Yes, we are going to fix this bugger. There is a secret way that Apple put into the back door of this, almost literally, that will allow you to bypass that and get on with your upgrades. So that's what we're going to do now. So first thing we need to do, power this off, get a towel down on the deck, and get this sitting face down. Because we're going to operate on its ass. Right, that's a very unattractive angle, but it turns out I didn't need... Uh, the towel because it's gone on its back unless you want to protect the back section uh, But what we're looking for is this slot underneath for the memory. So what we're going to do is unscrew this And this will reveal the memory Now what we're trying to do is change the amount of memory inside it. So <coughs> If you've got two pieces of memory take one out at the moment I've got a four gigabyte card in there. So I just pull that and she pops as before, so I'm going to do, for the purposes of this experiment, is replace that with this one gigabyte card, just while we do the reset. So put that in there, there we go, and uh, we'll just screw this back up and set it back up, and we'll do the next part of the reset process. Right, our next task, if I grab the keyboard, is to reset the PRAM, which is the chip that holds all the BIOS information. So what we have to do is follow on the computer and hold down Command Option P and R. And we should see it cycle. What we need to do is let it cycle this, there we go, three times. So that's one. That is two. And that's the third one. So we should now be able to let this boot shut it down. And when we restart it, uh, that firmware password, hopefully, will be gone. There's only one way to find that out, isn't there? Let's do it. Okay, it has booted. It took a very long time because it's running on one gigabyte and it's an operating system that this wasn't designed for originally anyway. This, uh, so what I'm going to do, it's very slow, is shut it down and hopefully when we press uh, Command R on reboot, we will not get the password and we'll go into the restore facility. Let's see if that happens. Right, she's powered down, so what should happen now, if the password's cleared, uh, when, I, when I boot it and press Command R, it should boot normally and not ask for the password. Of course, these don't have the restore facilities, uh, but if the password is there and I press Command R, it's going to go and try that. But there we go, there's a, a normal Apple symbol. I'll keep holding it, but it tries to boot. So that means that the firmware password has gone and we can now get on with doing some upgrades to this bugger. Final thing is, remember, there you go, it's telling me that there's no restore facility on this, but oh. come on, should boot normally again. There we go. Yeah, it's got no restore facility on this, but it's also now got no password, so I can get on with doing my upgrades. Uh, Remember also, uh, remember to put your memory back in. Don't want to be running this one on one gigabyte because it's very slow on that. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing more videos when I bring this up to date again. 
If you're enjoying videos like this, then uh, if you're not, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you actually get notified of videos coming up. You can join us on Facebook and Twitter, and if you really like the channel, you can support us for Patreon. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. You need to quit being dirty. You're a dirty boy. Ha <laughs> ha!